Uh, and you have the bones? Uh, head of humerus. Uh, oh, wait. I'll just do the muscles. Head of muscles? You're, good, you're good with the bones. We're good with bones. bones. Just muscles. And you're going to delve. On the anterior surface, we uh, are supine position. We're going to find all I'm requiring is clavicular head of the pec major. What is this? And then pec minor, serratus anterior, it, I think is all that's on the anterior side, right? All right, so clavicular head of the pectoralis major, your bony landmark will be the proximal end or medial two-thirds of the clavicle. The motion they'll be doing is I'll be asking you to pull it to your opposite ear in this direction. Okay, so I palpate the clavicle, come off the clavicle, don't let me move you, and then I strum. I always strum perpendicular to the fibers. Fibers are running this way, strumming. I'm only going to do one contraction, so... You don't have to do it three times. Like you this. will do it three times, but I'm doing one time so that oh. I can get through these. Pec major? Uh, I'm going to do serratus anterior Oh, okay. right now. Sure. You, the motion I want you to do right here is this. The bony landmark will be the lateral side of the ribs. So my hand will be, if you stay right about across from the xiphoid, you should get most of them. So I can only palpate four at a time anyway. So I'm going to come over here in this direction, push to the top, and then I strum back and forth. And of course, his are easy to feel. Good. Peck minor. My bony landmark will be the coracoid process. The motion is I'm going to have you push down to, the, to your feet in that direction. All right, so I find the acromion process, go to the coracoid process. There's a coracoid process. Come just off of that and push down, and there you feel that tendon right there. Good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll have you flip over to your stomach. Uh, let's start with the um, traps. let's start with the middle traps and lower traps. Middle traps. Uh, for the middle traps, we are just going to have him in this position squeezing that direction. That's different than the rhomboids. Rhomboids are going to be like this. Middle traps are going to be horizontal abduction. So that's the motion I'm going to have you do. My landmark will be the smooth triangular space. So I go chromium process, smooth triangular space, go straight across into that direction, lift up, and then there's the middle traps. Good. Rhomboids, which are in that direct, right directly underneath. Uh, they angle up in this direction. You're going to try to lift your whole shoulder complex up like that and relax. Totally. Totally relax. And then lift up like that and then relax. Good? So now it's the whole medial border of the scapula. Go ahead and lift up. And then I feel a larger, thicker part of it. Now they're both going to contract. Don't get me wrong, but you're going to feel the different fibers contracting. Good? Lower traps. Thumb is going to be up. All I want you to do is lift up to that point and back down. Lift up and back down. My landmarks will be smooth triangular space and about T12. I don't have to be too accurate. Here's my smooth triangular space. Just as long as my hand's in between those two. Lift up, and you can actually see it on him. And I'm those fibers are running this way, so I'm going to palpate this way or strum this way and relax. Lower traps, rhomboids, middle traps. Now we're going to go to the teres uh, major. Teres major, our landmark will be the from the inferior angle of the scapula up the lateral border about the first third. That will be my landmark. So I find the, come around, find the inferior angle. There's the inferior angle. I'm going to come on the lateral border. And I'm going to say the motion I'm going to have you do is just lift up in that direction. Up. And lift up. And there it is. Terry's minor, I'm going to be out at 90 degrees. The motion I'm going to say is say hi, external rotation. This is Terry's minor and infraspinatus are going to be two same movement, but two separate landmarks. The landmark for Terry's minor is the upper portion of the lateral border of the scapula. So I find here's the immediate border down to the inferior angle. I go as high up into the axilla as possible, and I say say hi. And there is his teres minor. Do you feel that? Lift up. Good. Now, infraspinatus, same motion, but my landmark now is on the scapula. So I find the spine of the scapula. Here's the smooth triangular space. The closer I am to the smooth triangular space on just below the spine of the scapula, the less likely I am to interfere with the teres minor, right? 
so I won't confuse the two because they both do the same thing. So say hi, and that's a that huge muscle. You can actually see his is quite huge. It's not this big on most people. Infraspinatus. Infraspinatus. Good. Um, posterior deltoid, same as middle traps, but now my landmark is different. It's the inferior ang uh, sorry, inferior lip of the spine of the scapula, but I error towards the acromion process. So here's the acromion process, turns in the spine of the scapula, and I just palpate there, and they do horizontal abduction, and it's that huge thing on him you can't help but miss. Now, it's not that big on most people. It's one of the weaker muscles on most people. Posterior deltoid. Levator. Levator scapula. Levator scapula. That's in sitting. Oh, sorry. Landmark for levator scapula. We're not going to do a contraction. This is the exception to the rule. All we're going to do is find the beefy tissue that attaches to the superior angle of the scapula. So I go down my spine of the scapula, follow the medial border up as high as I can, and then I feel, do you feel that beefy structure that the fibers are running this way? Boom, boom. Do you feel that, Anthony? Yeah. And that's my uh, levator scapula. If I try to get him to elevate, the upper trap just gets in the way. I don't have you actually palpate. I know Jeremy did the lats. I figure if you can't find the lats, we're, we're in trouble. Okay, so the next would be sitting. The sitting position is actually, let's have you sit on the corner, straddle that corner. That allows me to um, let him do the empty cam for the supraspinatus. So what I'm going to have you do is internally rotate, and I want you to push in that direction, push out in that direction. And that, if he pushes out and doesn't lift up, that will help prevent his deltoid and upper trap from contracting. So all I want you to do is go about there and then relax. Totally relax at the bottom. My landmark, okay, so relax. My landmark is going to be my supraspinatus, supraspinous fossa. So my landmark is the, the spine of the scapula. So I'm going to go in there, but I try to stay away from this big bulky upper trap. <clears throat> so I just go in there and I say lift up and then I can palpate it there. And that's different than this big bulky thing. Now he has a huge one. This is, it's normally about two fingers big on most people. And relax, that's easy to feel. Upper traps, you can't miss upper traps. Just put your hand on the top of the shoulder and ask them to shrug and squeeze or that's it. That's, yeah, that's easy to do for upper traps. Lateral deltoid. Landmark is the acromion process, and then you just have them go into abduction and strum this way. That's not hard to get. Anterior deltoid, we just have them come straight up. The landmark is the uh, lateral one-third of the clavicle, and you just strum, and it's, it's easy to get to. Uh, did I miss anything? Can we do the deltoids? No, you don't have to do, apply them. resistance to any of these, really. Oh, okay. But you can if you feel like you're, it's not contracting well. Levator scapula. Levator scapula, we already palpated. I think we did everything. Triceps. Now the elbow. Uh, elbow um, in, in sitting position, I'm just going to have you 